Hi, Drawstrip Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to be drawing a cute mailbox to celebrate Valentine's. I mean, who doesn't want to get a lovely Valentine's letter in the mail, right? I definitely do. So I really hope you love this drawing that inspires you to draw this for someone you love this Valentine's. So get your Sharpie or your pencil ready and your piece of paper and let's get started. To draw this mailbox, let's first start by drawing a curve. So we're going to come right here and this is going to be opening of our mailbox. Just going to draw a big curve, like a dome shape right here. Then from there, I'm going to bring this down. Now that it's pretty even, I'll bring this down. Then we're going to go straight down, nice and straight to say about right here. And then from there, I'm going to tentatively draw a line going across. So we're going to start to draw the box, mailbox. So about right there and right there. We kind of want to follow the same angle as best as we can. So let's work on this bottom part first. I'm going to go right across to about right here. And I'll stop and then let's see here before I finish this side let's come to the top right here and in this area I'm going to draw the little flag but if you're using a pencil just go ahead and just go it uh, straight across but I'll stop about right here I'm going to go straight down in this area and then right here I'm going to follow this angle right there and then go up and this is straight and then we're going to bring this up a little bit more and then just come right here and just round it off but as i round it off i'm still following this angle and i'm just going to go ahead and make it round to create this, that little flag then i can go ahead following that angle i'm going to go across to create the top of my mailbox there. So then about right there, I'm going to start to curve down just like this side. And I'm going to go down and come to this part right here. So as I curve down and about right here, I'm going to start to go straight. There. Okay, so then from there, the hardest part is done. <laughs> Let's bring this down a little bit more. And right here is going to angle. I'm going to angle this out right there. So in this space is where the letter is going to go. So I'm going to come about right here, come out and I'm going to draw angle line in. And then this is going to, I'm just going to create this rectangle. So right here, I'm going to go down about right there and then I'm going to bring it in. So I'm going to follow the top, my top angle, whatever angle that is and connect to create my letter. And then I'll come in here just for some details and come towards the center of my letter and then go up. And then put another line right here and here. There, so we know for sure that's a letter now, right? So whatever space you have left, just go ahead and fill it in. From there, let's go ahead and draw the flap for our mailbox. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to angle down and just imagine this is right here. The other angle, the other side would be about right here and I'm going to angle down as well right there. And then I'm just going to connect it with a curve. So say about right there, kind of like the height of that, just approximate. Just as long as it makes a little bit more sense, right? We don't want it really short, then we know it won't <laughs> it won't fit. Just approximate, say about right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and connect. There. And then let's come in here for a little detail. I'm just gonna give it a little border. So I'll just follow my outside. There. And then now to draw our pole. So I'll come to about the center. So I'll say about right here. I'm gonna come right here and draw a straight line down. About right there. Now I'm gonna come right here. This side is gonna be wider. And draw another line down. And then on this side, it's gonna be a bit thinner. 
because this is going to be this angle and this is this angle. So then on this side, I'm going to make it thinner and go straight down as well. There. Then at the bottom right here, I'm just going to draw some grass. So just come in this area and just zigzag my way across. There, so our mailbox on, on some grass. And then of course, let's add some dandelion since we're here. So I'm just going to draw two curves and add my dandelions. <laughs> there. Okay, so now that we're done with these little details, let's come back and make this extra cute and put some eyes, right? So if you want to do that, let's come in this area right here and I'm going to draw a circle about right here. And we're going to go at a slant. So about right here, we'll draw the other eye. So another circle. And now that I have my circles in, let's make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom. And notice my curve is at a slant. And then I'm going to just shade this in. And lines at the bottom. So same thing here. There. And then now that I have eyes in, just a little taller, I'm going to come above each eye and just draw a soft curve and then a smile in between. And it's at an angle right there. And then when you're coloring, just add some cheeks. And for some details, let's add a heart right here. And let's see, you can add some hearts on the sides because this letter is filled with love, right? <laughs> and we could even add a heart. <laughs> In case you didn't have enough hearts, we could add one more right there. So they're all done. I really hope you love how this cute little mailbox turned out and that um, I made this fun and easy for you to follow along. And um, I hope you've been loving all the Valentine's uh, inspired drawings I've been doing so far. And I want to wish you uh, cuties a very, very happy Valentine's and to let you know that I love you. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.